friends, and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal, and in today's video, I'm going to be working on a project using the December-themed Story by the Month kit from Allie Edwards. This kit was released today, which is November 13th, 2020, and the story I'm going to tell is a story about my son. I wrote him a letter just about some of the things uh, some of the ways that I have seen him learning and growing and uh, just how that brings me so much joy over the course of the last nine months that we've been at home. So I wrote out a letter and I also found um, a group of pictures from a family photo shoot that we did a couple weeks ago where he just has like the most joyful look on his face. And that's really what I wanted to go for with this spread. So my idea is to actually use the stamp set here. I want to use this rainbow to create a couple of two by two pocket uh, inserts. And then I want to also try using this star pattern to create either um, like a mat for my letter or possibly a background or something along those lines. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and get this page all assembled. And then once I have everything done, we will slow back down and close out for the day. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so getting started on this spread, we are actually going to be doing a ton of stamping here. So I am going to show you how I get them started, and then we are going to skip around a lot here so that you don't have to watch me stamp the entire time, because I think I did for maybe like an hour. I just put a show on and watched that on my iPad while I was sitting here stamping. So the first thing I did was to pull over a 6.875 by 8.25 uh, piece of paper. This is going to serve as the background for where I'm going to hold my letter to my son. And I just pulled out the star pattern, which is a really pretty pattern. And you actually can line it up perfectly in order to make all of them stars. I didn't really care so much. I just went for it and made it messy and was totally fine with that. The The ink color that I used is St. Helen, and that is one from uh, from Allie's, Allie's shop, Allie Edwards shop. The next one I did was in the blue color, and I also did the same star pattern. I thought it would be nice to have the stars on stars, and I wanted something to go back behind all of the journaling since that card is just plain in order to give it some contrast. Then I wanted to move on to the two by twos. For this, I have six two by twos printed for photos. And then I also wanted to add in six two by twos with that rainbow pattern. I did go ahead and stamp the rainbow and then I just, I didn't like it with the stark white background. So I decided to, to pull back over that St. Helen color and go ahead and stamp the background of all six of those two by two cards first. Then once I have that done, I will pull back over the rainbow once again, and I'm going to stamp two of them in this green color, which all of these inks that I'm using today are from Allie. The only one that will not be an Allie Edwards ink is going to be um, the black that I use, which is actually a new one. It's the Versa Versafine, I think, Claire Nocturne, something like that. We'll pull it over and we'll be able to see. So I stamped two of the rainbows in the green color, two of them in the yellow color, and then I'm going to do two of them in that dark blue, navy blue color as well, just to pull in as many of the colors as possible from the, from the photos. The photos we took outside, so there's a lot of greenery around us, and then um, I have yellow pants on in the photos, so I pull in the yellow from that. Next, I grabbed the stamp that said Find Joy, and this is where I'm going to use that black, and I just totally missed it. So if you saw what it was, it's I believe it's Versafine or Versaclair Nocturne. It's something like that. It's a new one that uh, my friend Tashi recently recommended to me to use, and I, I actually really like it. It's a very nice ink. It's a I believe it's a dye ink, and it just it looks really nice and bold, and that's exactly what I like. So I took that title, Find Joy, and stamped it underneath all six of those rainbows. And then I'm going to go ahead and work on getting the right side of this spread assembled here. So I did go ahead and clean up two of the edges. Then I'm going to take my journaling page here, which I printed at four and a half inches wide by six and a half inches tall. 
I think that is right. It might have been seven and a half, but I'm pretty sure it's a four and a half by six and a half. And then I added some adhesive. I will line it up on the corner the way I like it up there. And then we'll take it back over to the trimmer to trim off the right hand side and the bottom. So then you can see how it does just give a little bit of contrast to the letter that I wrote there. Then I will line it up here on this page and my idea here is to grab a piece of vellum to make a pocket for the journaling to just slip into. I will go ahead and stitch on the vellum there and then to add some title pieces right on top. So I took this joy piece and I just went right back to my Allie Edwards crafters ink that navy blue one and I am inking up that wood veneer with the blue ink. Now because of the type of ink that it is it's a pigment so it sits on top of the page or of that little wood veneer piece it will rub off so I decided to try embossing on top of it I grabbed over I don't have very many embossing powders but one of them I have is like the is it holographic or it's something like that where it's iridescent maybe it's just iridescent it is sparkly so it does give it some sparkle but I just inked it up I threw that stuff on top of it I will clean this up really quick so that I don't make a huge mess uh, I generally like to keep my desk really clean while I'm working it just helps me stay focused um, and not distracted and then I will grab my heat gun and go ahead and heat up that embossing powder so it does um, it does melt on there and become a little bit shiny uh, just giving it you know a shimmer to it but it does allow the piece to stay blue and the ink no longer rubs off so that's a win in my book so next I'm going to take that vellum trim it down so that's the same size as my uh, page there and I believe it is three inches tall then I will grab over my sewing machine so we can go ahead and get this stitched um, I probably could have waited to hole punch this until I got the vellum attached. I didn't quite need to do it <laughs> right now, but that's okay. It'll make it easier later. Um, and honestly, actually, it's not a bad idea because when I do stitch it down, it'll I can make sure to stitch close enough to the edge so that the stitching wouldn't be messed up by the hole punches. So actually, now that I think about that, that was probably a wise decision. So on the front of this pocket, I'm going to put the word joy. Underneath, I have find joy from the chipboard set. I grabbed over some of my other chipboard pieces and found the word witness. So it says witness joy, find joy, uh, and I like the way that that looks. So now I'm just going to take this over here, line everything up, make sure I like it before I finish it up with the stitching looks super good. So then we'll pull over my sewing machine. I did debate whether or not to use some of these star cardstock stickers on the page. Decided against it. I like the way that it looks right now. It's it's not too busy, but it does have a lot of color and I like the way that that looks. I also think that it helped that I did the very neutral color for the main star background. I think that helps to not make it look too busy. So we'll trim off those strings there and then we can get those last little pieces adhered down on the pocket. Um, so the journaling that I did for this particular page, I at first I was thinking about journaling up, you know, about Jonah and just that he's kind of a joyful little boy. He is always laughing. He's mischievous, but he's always laughing and smiling and all of that. So I started writing that and then it kind of morphed into a story more about the joys of watching him grow. I talk about how in the month of, um, in the month of March, when we first went into kind of a lockdown quarantine situation here, um, he, we were just starting to go outside and he was scared of the grass. And I talk about that because now at the end of the summer, this kid is walking up the slides and down ladders and jumping from high places. And it's, it's wild to see how far he's come uh, compared to where he was in the summertime. Um, and then I talk about how you know, later in the summer, he started talking. Um, he had to figure out how to communicate with his sister, who he was now around all the time. And now he's saying like four and five word sentences. And it's just crazy. It's just so crazy to see him grow in such a short period of time. Because I think we forget how short this time really has been. But 
Okay, you guys, so that is going to be it. All right, friends, that finishes my spread for today. I love the way that this one came together. And I love that even though the uh, Stories by the Month kit this month doesn't come with as many cards as it normally did, I love that it forced me to get the stamp set out and use that to create a story instead this time. I really enjoyed it. I really had a great time. It's very therapeutic to sit here and just stamp for a while. So it was just really nice. I hope that you guys were inspired by this spread and maybe I showed you a, an idea for how to use those stamps that came in the kit this month. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future crafty videos. I will be back again tomorrow with my flip through of my 2019 uh, December daily album. And then uh, once we get through that one, then we are going to be starting on some December daily 2020 foundation pages here on my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys look forward to that because I know I sure am. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will catch you in the next video. Bye now. Bye.